hello everyone welcome to talent sprint so how are you guys so i have come up with the 150 most predictable questions for the upcoming chsl of ssc and rrb examinations hope you are preparing well so now we are going to deal with 150 most predictable questions for chsl as well as rrb exams i am not saying these questions will come exactly in the exam but you need to be thorough with the topic which i am mentioning in this questions okay so take a pen and paper and note down your score this is like a mock test for your chsl or rrb examinations so let's get started let's not waste our time good afternoon everyone so hope you can see my screen take a pen and paper so moving on to first question of the day so India is a republic because is it a democracy head of the state is indirectly elected is it a sovereign country or it is a secular country what could be the answer India is a republic because you have five seconds for each question So what could be the answer? The answer is head of the state is indirectly elected. As the head of the state is indirectly elected, India is republic. Okay, head of the state might, might be either directly elected or indirectly elected. Then only the country is called republic. So UK is not called republic. Hence, moving on to next question of the day. Ganymede is a moon of which planet? Is it Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter? What could be the answer? So the right answer is yes, Jupiter is the right answer ganymede is the largest moon of jupiter as well as the largest in the solar system itself okay the other moons of ganymede include callisto europa la etc ganymede is the largest in the solar system and it is as well as the largest of the jupiter moving on to next question of the day note down your score okay we shall deal with it at the last battle of Haldigati was fought in the year of is it 1764 1526 1576 or 1857 so what could be the right answer battle of Haldigati yes the right answer is 1576 it was fought between Raja Man Singh of Amber versus Rana of Mewar, that is Maharana Pratap Singh, right? So, Raja Man Singh was on the side of Akbar. So, it was fought in the Haldigati place in the year of 1576. Moving on to next question of the day. Which Indian woman to get Bharatra now for the first time? So, is it Indira Gandhi, Vijay Lakshmi Pandit, Mother Sarisa, Leela Seth? So what could be the answer? Who is the first Indian woman to get Bharat Ratna? What could be the answer? Yes, Indira Gandhi is the first Indian woman to get Bharat Ratna. Okay, in the terms of music or arts, it was MS Subbalakshmi. Okay, moving on to the next question of the day. When ice floats on water, how much part of it remains outside the water? Is it 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.1 or 1? You have 5 seconds for each question. What could be the correct answer? Yes, the right answer is 0.1 part of the ice will remain on outside the water, right? So moving on to next question of the day. Instrument for measuring lower temperatures is called as diagometer, cryometer, chromatometer or seismometer. What could be the answer? instrument for measuring lower temperatures as the name says lower temperatures this is a study of lower temperatures what could be the answer surat says it's option number two yes the right answer is cryometer cryogenics deals with lower temperatures right so moving on to next question of the day in Lok Sabha, the total number of members from state C's is it 630, 530, 430 or 330? 
what could be the answer so the right answer is yes the right answer is 530 right 530 from states 20 from UTs and two Anglo Indians though they are nominated right yes or no yes so totally the maximum strength in Lok Sabha is 552 what's the present strength 545 is the present strength right so most of you have given the right answer Kiran Mai Devender okay Dana Jiban Renuka yes moving on to next question of the day which world heritage monument has been acclaimed as the necropolis of the Mughal dynasty is it Humayun's tomb Mah Mahabodhi temple complex Kutub Minar or Red Fort complex so what could be the answer necropolis of the Mughal dynasty the famous monument of the Mughal dynasty so what could be the answer the right answer is yes Humayun storm don't forget your note down your score we shall deal at the last treat it like a mock test so Humayun storm was built by whom it was built by Hamida Banu Begum his wife right at Delhi right so is famous for char bag right gardens it is in Delhi moving on to the next question of the day at the time of emergency in 1975 who was serving as a president of India is it Morarji Desai Fakruddin Ali Ahmad VP Singh or Indira Gandhi you have five seconds what could be the answer the right answer is yes Fakruddin Ali Ahmad is the right answer he was the president of India during the emergency imposed in 1975 under internal disturbance. Okay, most of you have given the right answer. Sumit, Yash, Kushbu, Vanita, Santosh. Okay, president. The question is about president, not about the prime minister. Who was the constitutional advisor of the Constituent Assembly of India? Is it Rajendra Prasad, B. R. Ambedkar, B. N. Rao, or Sachidananda Sinha? This is the first topic in polity about the making of Indian constitution. What could be the answer? Who was the constitutional advisor of Constituent Assembly of India? Chinnu Vajis says option number 3, B. N. Rao, Suraj, Priyanka, Nikhil, Renuka, Jiban, Sai Kishore, Yash, Kushbus, Priyanka, Vanita. So most of you say it's option number 3. Yes, Benagal Narsingha Rao, he was the constitutional advisor of the Constituent Assembly of the India. Who was the temporary president? It was Sachidananda Sinha for first two days. From the third day onwards, it was the Rajendra Prasad, he was the president of Constituent Assembly. And H.C. Mukherjee was the vice president of the Constituent Assembly. Moving on to next question of the day, women have shrill voice because of, is it low frequency, high frequency, shrill vocals or strong epiglottis? This belongs to biology or general science. Women have shrill voice shrill voice means high pitch okay what is the answer so most of you say it's option number two some say it's option number one what is the right answer high frequency so pitch is directly proportional to frequency right so women have high pitch so that implies high frequency and men have low pitch and they have low frequency okay remember this moving on to next question of the day who was the first female governor of india is it kamala nehru madam bikaji kama sarojini naidu or vijay lakshmi pandit first female governor of india
Priyanka says Sarojini Naidu, Birender, Suraj, Trupti, Amit, Yash, Kajal, Santosh. So most of you said option number three. Yes, Sarojini Naidu, she was the first female governor for Uttar Pradesh state. And her uh, daughter also, Padmaja Naidu, she was also the governor of West Bengal later. Okay, she was the second female governor. Okay, but Sarojini Naidu was for Uttar Pradesh. Moving on to next question of the day. What is washing soda? Is it aluminum bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate, aluminum sulphate or sodium carbonate? What could be the answer? Who is going to give this answer first? Washing soda. Yes, the right answer is sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate is the right answer. This is the chemical formula for washing soda. Okay, it is used in laundry purposes. Moving on to the next question of the day. Which is the movement of chemical in the upper layers of soil into the lower layers or into the groundwater by being dissolved in water? Okay. So this movement of a chemical is termed as, is it infiltration, salinization, eutrophication or leaching? Note down your score too. So what could be the answer? Most of you say it's leaching option number four. Yes, leaching is the right answer. Movement of a chemical from the upper layers to the lower layers is called as leaching. Next scientific name of banana is, see remember scientific names are asked frequently in SSC examination. So you need to be thorough about them. Is it Pyrus malus, Magnifera indica or Punica granatum or Musa paradisium? So most of the answers can be predicted from the options itself for such type of questions. What could be the answer? Scientific name of banana is Jitendra says four, rocking, Renuka, Kishore, Dana, Santosh, Kirti, Vanita. So most of you say it's option number four. Yes, option number four is correct answer. Pyrus malus is for apple, Magnifera as the name says mango, Punica as the name says pomegranate. Okay. And Musa Paradisium is for banana. Moving on to next question of the day. Which of the following is present in nail polish remover? Is it citric acid, acetone, ethylene or benzene? Who is going to answer this question first? Priyanka says acetone, Piyush. Krishnan, Kushbu, Yash, Nilab, Kishore, Jiban, Trupti, Suraj. So most of you say it's acetone. Is it the right answer? Yes, acetone is the right answer. It is present in nail polish removal. Moving on to next question of the day. What is the formula of potassium ion in the noble gas state? Is it K plus or K2 plus or K2 minus or K minus? So remember the nearby noble gas atomic number it will be very easy. What could be the answer? Potassium ion in the noble gas state. So some say it's option number two. Some say Vidya Rajan Priyanka say it's option number one. Yes, option number one is the right answer. Argan has atomic number 18 and potassium has atomic number 19 okay so when i add one ion it becomes into the noble state moving on to next question of the day now the number of parliamentary seats of, of lok sabha for kerala is is it 2 13 20 or 25 Number of parliamentary seats for Lok Sabha of Kerala is Piyush says option number 3. So is it the right answer? Yes, 20 seats for Lok Sabha for Kerala is the right answer. Moving on to next question of the day. In which sports of Olympics India has won maximum gold medals? Is it shooting, wrestling, hockey, athletics? 
what could be the answer who is going to give this answer first vidya rajan maximum gold medals nilab says athletics is it the right answer priyanka says shooting suraj hockey so what is the right answer hockey is the right answer we have won maximum gold medals in hockey moving on to next question of the day upper part of the exosphere is composed almost completely of which gas is it ozone nitrogen oxygen or hydrogen right we have five types of layers troposphere mesos sorry stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere right so what is the right answer the right answer is hydrogen exosphere joins with space there we have helium and hydrogen right so all the weather pattern occur in troposphere aeroplanes fly in the stratosphere and ozone layer is also present in stratosphere right moving on to next question of the day january 9th is celebrated as pravasi bhartiya divas to mark which of the following is it gandhi's date of start to south africa gandhi's date of return to india from south africa or is it nelson mandela's birthday or mother teresa entry to india what could be the right answer who is going to give this so most of you say it's option number 2 is it the right answer yes gandhi ji has returned to india from south africa on 9th in the year 1915 right moving on to next question of the day right to property article 31 was removed as a fundamental right through which of the following amendments is it 42nd amendment 1976 44 1978 Fifty second, nineteen eighty five, thirty sixth, nineteen seventy five. Who is going to give this first? Most of you say it's option number two: Madhu, Aditya, Meghna, Julfikar, Kushbu, Nikhil Reddy. So most of you say it's option number two is the right answer. It was made as legal right under Article number three hundred A, right? moving on to next question of the day who is the father of the book my father is a hero is it novanil chakraborty neelima dalmya adar nishant kaushik or apj abdul kala so books we need to refer in every shift of ssc exam one or two questions will be from the authors of the books okay what could be the answer the right answer is nishant kaushik he has written the book my father is a hero moving on to next question of the day who founded the agra city is it bahulal khan lodi ibrahim lodi malik sultan shah lodi or sikandar lodi who founded the agra city the presently in uttar pradesh Jason Balu says option number four. Meghna, Kushbu, Agarwal, Jitendra, Anil, Santosh, Chandra, Niraj, Prakash, Sanjeev, Vanita. Most of you say it's Sikandar Lodi. Sikandar Lodi is the right answer. He is the son of Bahulal Khan Lodi, right? So he built the famous city Agra. in uttar pradesh moving on to next question of the day how many fundamental rights exist in indian constitution is it 5 6 7 11 how many fundamental rights exist in indian constitution it's a very fundamental rights topic is very important as far as general studies is concerned so jitendra jasni balu says option number 3 7 what could be the answer the right answer is yes six is the right answer we have six fundamental rights and 11 fundamental duties okay mentioned in part 3 of indian constitution from articles 12 to 35 okay moving on to next question of the day which disease is caused due to deficiency of iron is it beriberi tetanus 
और क्वाशियर कोर और अनिमिया Which disease is caused due to deficiency of iron? What could be the right answer? Yes, Mega says anemia, Varaprasad, Jasni Balu, Kiran, Shivaraman, Kishore, Mamata, Jitendra, Anil, Venugopal, Priyanka, Saurav, Chandranira, Jajit, Jiban. So most of you say it's anemia. Yes, anemia. is caused due to deficiency of iron we see in mostly in women and children battle of kanauj in 1540 was fought between sher shah and which of the following is it babar humayun akbar aurangzeb who is going to give this answer first battle of kanauj see battles are very important for ss examination from medieval history okay मेगा सेस हुमायून अनिल हुमायून जसनी बालू सो व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर खुशबू मेगा सूरज देवेंद्र जितेंद्र अजीत सो व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर द राइट आंसर इज यस हुमायून इज द राइट आंसर शेर शाह सूरी एंड हुमायून फॉट इन 1539 एज वेल एज 1540 राइट इट वाज बैटल ऑफ चौसा in 1539 and battle of kanauj kanauj is a place in uttar pradesh okay so with this battles sher shah suri takes the mughal throne okay later humayun will take up in 1555 and he dies while taking up the stairs in 1556 later his son akbar will come to throne moving on to next question of the day who is the author of the book in other words is it kiran desai r k narayanan jhumpa lahiri anita desai who is the author of the book in other words so what is the right answer the right answer is jhumpa lahiri she has written this book in other words moving on to next question of the day kishan gangoli is related to is it badminton squash chess or tennis what could be the answer kishan gangoli is related to yes he has won the recently national chess championship for the blind for the fifth time okay that is the right answer kishan gangoli is related to chess okay moving on to next question of the day indian constitution recognizes is it only religious minorities or only linguistic minorities or religious and linguistic minorities or religious linguistic and ethnic minorities what could be the right answer This is a direct question from the previous paper of civil service prelims examination asked in many normal examinations later. So what is the right answer? Most of you say it's option number three or four. Some say it's option number three. Some say it's option number four. But the right answer is option number three only mentioned in articles numbers twenty-nine and thirty. Okay, right to. minorities okay moving on to so constitution recognizes both religious minorities as well as linguistic language minorities moving on to next question of the day uraninite is an ore or mineral of is it zinc uranium titanium or aluminum what could be the right answer uraninite If you know the earlier name of uraninite, it will be very easy. What could be the right answer? Yes, the right answer is in the question itself. It is uranium. Earlier, uraninite was called as pitch blende. Okay, the chemical formula is uranium dioxide. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. Name India's oldest credit information bureau. Is it RBI, Sibyl, NABARD, UTI? oldest credit information bureau what could be the right answer most of you say it's option number 2 kishore jiban 
शिवरामन अकिल प्रियंका शेखन राम शिष आदित्य मोस्ट ऑफ यू से ऑप्शन नंबर टू यस क्रेडिट इंफॉर्मेशन ब्यूरो ऑफ इंडिया लिमिटेड इज द ओल्डेस्ट क्रेडिट इंफॉर्मेशन ब्यूरो इन इंडिया ओके मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे वालो दैट इज नॉट एक्सेक्ट Expected to erupt again is called as is cinder cone, moraine, lava, or extinct volcano. A volcano that is not expected to erupt again. What could be the answer? Be fast. What is the answer? So Shai Kishor Shivaraman says option number four. Santosh Renuka. Suraj, Mega, Mohan. So most of you said option number four. Yes, extinct volcano or dormant volcano. We can say the one which is active is called active volcano, which doesn't erupt again for so many years is called as act extinct volcano. Who is the author of the book The Ministry of Utmost Happiness? Is it Preeti Shanoi, Arundhati Roy, Kiran Desai, or Kushwan Singh? So what could be the answer? Who is the author of the book, The Ministry of Utmost Happiness? Arindati Roy says, Megha, Akhil, Jason, Randhir, Aditya, Shivaraman, Mithun, Megashri, Chandrahas, Karunakar, Kishor, Jiban, Abhishek, Panita, Dhruval, Satya, Mohan. So most of you say it's option number two. Yes, option number two is the right answer. Which is the first Indian company to get listed on NASDAQ? Is it Industries Limited, Infosys, TCS or Bharti Airtel? NASDAQ, it is a one of the stock exchanges of US. It stands for National Association for Securities Dealers Automated Quotations. So what could be the right answer? Saurav Sarma says option number 2, Shivaraman, Kishore, Santosh, Megashri, Hema. So who is going to give this answer first? Yes, the right answer is Infosys has got listed for the first Indian company on Nasdaq. Which city is located on the banks of the river Narmada? Is it Baruch, Bhopal, Nagpur or Kota? Which city is located on the banks of river Narmada? Manpreet Kaur says option number one. Give the answers fast. What could be the answer? River Narmada flows in. You, if you know the states, you can easily answer. What is the right answer? The right answer is Baruch of Gujarat. Okay, Narmada flows in Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Gujarat. Okay, from west to east. Sorry. From east to west. It is a west flowing river. Moving on to next question of the day. Which of these countries got independence from United Kingdom? Is it Uzbekistan or Pakistan or Venezuela or South Korea? Which of these countries got independence from United Kingdom? From the colonialism or imperialism? So which is the right answer? Yes, the right answer is Pakistan is the right answer along with India has got independence from UK. Aurangzeb, the Mughal emperor died in, is it 1507, 1607, 1707 or 1807? Medieval history is very important as far as CGL or CHSL or RRB exams are concerned. What could be the right answer? Most of you say it's option number three. Chandranira, Abhishek, Shivaraman, Banashri, Jitendra. So, so the right answer is 1707 from 1658 to 1707. Aurangzeb has ruled the Mughal Empire. Okay. Clear with this. He was the son of Shah Jahan. Moving on to next question of the day. Unemployment resulting from industrial reorganization typically due to technological changes rather than fluctuations in supply or demand is called as is it structural unemployment, frictional unemployment, seasonal unemployment or cyclical unemployment. 
unemployment resulting from industrial reorganization so the question is in answer is in the question itself what is the right answer the right answer is structural unemployment okay this is that is the right answer due to structural changes in the economy unemployment is resulted what is frictional unemployment frictional unemployment means suppose i have done have done a job one now i am unemployed i am waiting for another job so i am intentionally unemployed for the second job that is called frictional employment what is seasonal employment you have an employment in one season and you are unemployed in another season that is agriculture then what is cyclical unemployment which comes repetitively like recession we have seen in 2008-9 it may come in future so that is called cyclical unemployment okay structural changes in the society will lead it to structural unemployment okay so computers were introduced in 1990s right so that's why people were unemployed moving on to next question of the day which of the following types of water is known to be absolutely free from any impurity is it mineral water distilled water spring water or boiled water absolutely free from any impurity what could be the answer yes the right answer is distilled water jasni balu mega most of you say it's option number two yes the, it is the right answer next who is the author of the book why i am a hindu recently it is in news is it shashi tarur mohan bhagavat arundhati roy or apj abdul kalam what could be the right answer yes abisha says option number 4 tanushree inamul kushbu suresh kishor mamata chandra neeraj karunakar shubham santosh nilab so most of you say it's option number 4 shashi tarur he has written the book why i am a hindu who was the first supreme court judge in india is it m fatima bv or leela seth anna chandi or kadamani ganguli what could be the right answer who was the first supreme court judge in india from woman the right the question should be first woman supreme court judge okay what is the right answer yes the right answer is option number one fatima bv she was the first supreme court judge okay leela seth was high court judge first high court judge for Himachal Pradesh and Kadamani Ganguly was a graduate first graduate and she was also a physician moving on to next question of the day who invented induction coil is it Hedwin Howard Armstrong John Barber Edwin Bird Bedding or Nicholas Callan what could be the answer Edwin Howard Armstrong So who invented induction coil? Yes, the right answer is Nicholas Callan is the right answer. He has invented the induction coil which we use it in transformers etc. Moving on to next question of the day. Find the power of a convex lens if the image formed is at a distance of 16 centimeters from the lens when the object is placed on the other side of the lens at 20 centimeters from the optical center. So you ha we have to do this problem. So who is going to give me this answer first? If you know the formula for calculating the focal length, you can get this. Yes. Okay, the image formed will be at a distance of V. And the object will be placed at u so the right answer is as it is placed outside it will be minus 20 right so the right answer will be
Yes, the right answer is 11.25 diopters. This is the right answer. When I solve it, P equal to 1 by F, it is in centimeters. So when I solve it in meters, so power of the lens will be 11.25. Right? So moving on to next question of the day. Moving on to next question of the day. Preamble was amended through which of the following amendments? Is it first amendment 1951, 35th 1975, 42nd 1976 or 44th 1978? What could be the right answer? Preamble was amended for the first time and only once. Jesney says, yes, the right answer is 42nd amendment. What were the words which were added? It was the words which were added. Socialist, secular and integrity. These were the three words which were added through 42nd amendment 1976, which is also called as mini constitution. Scientific name of watermelon is is it citrus vulgaris or ananas sativis or lycopersican esculentum or musa paradisium scientific name of watermelon is Yes, the right answer is most of you say it's option number one. Option number one is the right answer. Ananas sativus is for pineapple. And lycopersican is for tomato. And we have already seen Musa is for banana. Right? So moving on to next question of the day. What is the unit of physical quantity inductance? Is it Weber, Farad or Henry or Tesla? What is the right answer? Be fast in answering the questions. We have totally 150 questions I'm just completing one third of it what is the right answer inductance Henry is the right answer okay Weber is for magnetic flux okay and this is for capacitance electrical capacitance Farad and Tesla is for magnetic flux density Okay, moving on to next question of the day. Who was the first woman CM of Indian state? Is it Sarojini Naidu, Kadamini Ganguly, Sucheta Kriplani or Vijay Lakshmi Pandit? So why I am giving the first woman's means? Because these are very important as far as SSC exams or RRB exams are concerned. Minimum one questions from one shift will be there from such type of questions. So what is the right answer? So most of you say it's option number three. Is it the right answer? Yes. Sucheta Kriplani, she was the first CM, woman CM of Uttar Pradesh. Okay. Moving on to next question of the day. In which form of government priests rule in the name of God? Is it fascism, monarchy, theocracy or oligarchy? What is the right answer? Which form of government priests rule in the name of God? Yes, the right answer is Theocracy is the right answer. In the name of God, the rule is carried out. Fascism is by landlords. Monarchy is by a single person. Right? And oligarchy by few persons. Like China, monarchies like North Korea. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. Who founded the holy city of Amritsar? Is it Guru Gobind Singh or Guru Harkishan or Guru Ramdas or Guru Tej Bahadur? How many gurus are there in Sikhism? Yes, 10 gurus. Sikhism was founded by Guru Nanak. And the last guru, 10th guru is Guru Gobind Singh who has founded the holy city of Amritsar. Yes, most of you say it's Ramdas, Guru Ramdas, the fourth Sikh Guru. He has founded the holy city of Amritsar. Moving on to next question of the day. Bodo, Dogri, Maithili, Santali were added to 8th schedule through. Is it 69th Amendment 1991 or 86th Amendment 2002 or 91st Amendment 2003 or 92nd 2003? So 
so what could be the answer most of you say it's option number four yes option number four is the right answer these four were added through eighth schedule eighth schedule deals with 22 official languages of india is nepali an official language of india yes it is included in 22 official languages okay moving on to next question of the day saurav goshal is related to is it badminton cricket squash or tennis what would be the right answer saurav goshal yes the right answer is squash is the right answer he has been ranked the top ranking player in squash like deepika pallakal etc okay he is also one of the top players for indian squash okay note down your score don't forget that we shall deal at the last who invented the mobile phone is it martin nicholas alexander graham bell martin cooper or wills carrier who invented the mobile phone the radical change which has brought by the mobile phone is disastrous right everyone has a mobile phone now who has invented the mobile phone so most of you have mixed answers but the right answer is martin cooper is the right answer he has invented the mobile phone who was the first temporary chairman of the constituent assembly is it b.r ambedkar jawalal nehru rajendra prasad sachidananda sinha have answered this question earlier i'm explaining about the constant assembly so what is the right answer who was the temporary chairman for first two days yes the right answer is sachidananda sinha for first two days he was a chairman or president from third day onwards it's rajendra prasad he was a chairman or president of constant assembly okay vice president was hc Mukherjee constitutional advisor was b n rao okay who was won the first t20 cricket world cup is it west indies india australia new zealand so what is the right answer yes india has won against pakistan in 2007 the first t20 world cup by icc next dash comprises the archaeological remains of monastic and scholastic institution is it nalanda rani ki Wab, or um, hill forts of rajasthan or fatehpur sikri so what could be the right answer yes the right answer is nalanda in bihar it consists of buddhist it is related to buddhism okay it is a unesco's world heritage site nalanda university and rani ki Wab is in gujarat right fatehpur sikri is in agra built by akbar in uttar pradesh okay the right answer is nalanda in bihar moving on to next question of the day who has become the first asian and youngest to swim across Ocean 7. Is it Mihir Sen, Pinky Roy, Bhakti Sharma, Rohan More? Be fast in answering the questions. Who is going to answer this first? First Asian to swim across Ocean 7. That means he has already from 6 oceans. 7th one recently by an Indian. What is the right answer? Yes, the right answer is option number 4, Rohan More the right answer anti-defection law is mentioned in which schedules of indian constitution is it first 11th 5th 12th how many schedules we have totally we have 12 schedules anti-defection law yes most of you go with option number 10th schedule yes 10th schedule is the right answer 52nd amendment 1985 has added the anti-defection law to the indian constitution through the 10th schedule moving on to next question of the day the gobi desert is one of the largest deserts on earth a part of it lies in which of the following countries is it australia saudi arabia mongolia or madagascar
Gobi Desert, one of the largest deserts in India, sorry, in, on the earth. Yes, most of you go with option number three. Yes, Mongolia, in the southern part of Mongolia and the northern part of China, the Gobi Desert is located. Moving on to the next question of the day, which of these Indians has not won a Nobel Award? Is it Rabindranath Tagore, C.V. Raman, Satyajit Ray or Amartya Sen? Which of these Indians has not won a Nobel Award? So most of you go with option number 3. Is it the right answer? Yes, Satyajit Ray has won a special Oscar Award but not Nobel Award. Rabindranath Tagore for literature he was the first Indian to get awarded this. C.V. Raman for physics for the Raman effect and Amartya Sen for economics. Right? Satyajit Ray has won the special Oscar award but not Nobel award. Which are the oldest mountains in India? Is it Western Ghats, Satpura Range, Aravallis or Eastern Ghats? Yes, what could be the answer? Yes, the right answer is the oldest mountains are Aravallis, youngest are Himalayas. Okay. Aravallis are the oldest mountains in India. Which country is the largest producer of rice in the world? Is it Brazil, China, U US or India? Be fast in answering the questions. So what is the right answer? Which is the largest producer of rice? Because of green revolution in India, India has turned from food scarcity country to food surplus country. What is the right answer? The right answer is China is the first and India is second in the production of rice. Moving on to next question of the day. In economic equilibrium, supply is equal to demand or the surplus is larger than shortage or elasticity of demand equals elasticity of supply or price elasticity of demand is unity. What could be the answer in economic equilibrium? If you have seen my demand and supply topic, you can easily answer. Yes, the right answer is at equilibrium, supply will be equal to demand so that we can determine the price and quantity of that product. Yes. Next, amendment procedure of Indian constitution is inspired from, is it Britain or South Africa or USA or France? What could be the answer? Amendment procedure. Yes. The right answer is South African constitution is the right answer. We have taken amendment procedure under article 368. For amending our constitution we use article number 368 and this procedure is taken from South Africa. Fear of snakes is termed as is it achulophobia or acrophobia or ombrophobia or ophidiophobia? So what could be the right answer? Fear of snakes is called as yes the right answer is ophidiophobia is the right answer. Achulophobia is fear of darkness. And acrophobia is fear of heights and ombrophobia is fear of rain and ophidiophobia is for fear of snakes. Moving on to next question of the day. The objective resolutions was moved in the constituent assembly by is it Ambedkar, Mahatma Gandhi, Sardar Vallabhai Patel or Jawaharlal Nehru? What could be the right answer? Objective resolution, objectives resolution, the basis for our preamble. Yes, Nehru is the right answer. He has moved this on 13th December 1946 in the Constituent Assembly. And objective resolution is the basis for our preamble. Moving on to next question of the day. 2018 Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit will be held in which country? Is it Russia, India, China or Kazakhstan?
what could be the answer yes the right answer is china in kingdom of china it will be held kingdom of city of china will be held 2017 was held in astana of kazakhstan what about brick summit 2017 was held in xiamen of china and 2018 will be held in johannesburg of south africa okay clear with this this is for scvo summit okay moving on to next question of the day kala goda arts festival is held in which city is in new delhi hyderabad pune or mumbai so what is the right answer yes the right answer is in southern mumbai it is held the kala goda arts festival okay it is held generally in the first on the first saturday of the february okay moving on to next question of the day baksa and jaldapara national parks are situated in which state of india is it assam meghalaya uttarakhand or west bengal please don't forget to note down your score we shall deal with it at the last and be active in answering the questions what could be the right answer yes west bengal is the right answer baksa and jaldapara national parks are located in west bengal okay who built the famous jama masjid in delhi is it guru ramdas or shah jahan or raj rao joda ji or mahatma gandhi jama masjid in delhi who has built it what could be the right answer yes most of you say it's option number 2 shah jahan yes he has built the jama masjid the congregational mosque in new delhi or delhi okay moving on to next question of the day which programming language is developed by james a gosling is it asp.net or java or php or c++ so what could be the right answer the right answer is java is the right answer he has developed this programming language kaledi scope was invented by which of the following is it john barber tim berners lee or alan bumlim or david brewster okay kaleidoscope was invented by the right answer is david brewster is the right answer kaleidoscope was invented by david brewster the nitrogenous waste of human beings is is it ammonia urea ammonium nitrate or uric acid the nitrogenous waste of human beings is called as so there are mixed answers what could be the right answer the right answer is urea okay 95 percentage will be water and 2.5 percentage will be urea only in the human waste okay moving on to next question of the day how many members did drafting committee of the constituent assembly have is it 6 7 8 9 so we have completed almost half of the questions drafting committee headed by dr b r ambedkar has had seven members okay like alla adi krishna swami ayer anand sena manga ayangar so those people have uh, were the members of the drafting committee of the constituent assembly andaman and nicobar islands come under the jurisdiction of which high court is it tamil nadu K andhra pradesh kerala or kolkata So what could be the answer? Andaman Nicobar comes under which High Court jurisdiction? Yes, Kolkata is the right answer. Andaman Nicobar comes under Kolkata. Lakshadweep comes under Kerala High Court. Daman Diu, Dadra Nagar Haveli, 
Kova come under Bombay High Court along with Maharashtra. Okay, and Puducherry comes under Tamil Nadu High Court. Okay, clear with this. Moving on to next question of the day. How many chromosomes does a human cell contain? Is it 6, 26, 46 or 66? How many chromosomes? Yes, the right answer is 46. We have 23 pairs of chromosomes. That is 46. Moving on to next question of the day. Who is the author of the great Indian novel? Is it Vikram Seth, Chetan Bhagat or Jumpa Lahiri or Sheshi Taru? Who is the author of the great Indian novel? What could be the right answer? Yes, the right answer is Sheshu Tarur. He has written this book, The Great Indian Novel. Which railway station has become recently the first fully woman operated station in the country? Is it Madhubani of Bihar or Gandhinagar of Jaipur or Gandhinagar of Gujarat or Hazrat Nizamuddin of Delhi? So what could be the right answer? Be fast in answering the questions. Yes, the right answer is Gandhi Nagar of not of Gujarat but of Jaipur in Rajasthan. Okay, recently the railway protection force were also deployed from women itself in this station. Moving on to next question of the day, who founded the Rashtrakuta dynasty? Is it Danti Durga, Dhruva or Govinda third or Indra third? Rashtrakuta dynasty. Yes, the right answer is Danti Durga. He, he has founded the Rashtrakuta dynasty in the common era, 755 AD or common era. Moving on to next question of the day. January 22nd, 26th is selected as the date for the inauguration of constitution. But why? Was it considered to be an auspicious day? Or on, the, on this day, Quit India movement was started in 1942. The Congress has observed it as Independence Day in 1930 or none of this. Be fast so that I can complete the question fast. So what could be the answer? Yes, the right answer is option number 3. Most of you have given the right answer. Suresh, Harsha, Suraj, Sai Kishore, Mamta, Chandraniraj, Kushbu. Silpa, Jitendra, Viju, Shubham. So most of you have given this right answer. On this day, the in the 1929 Lahore session, Purna Swaraj was declared, right? Complete independence. And the date of independence was declared as 26 January 1930, date of independence in this session. Moving on to next question of the day. When was the first battle of Tharain was fought? Is it 1175 AD or 1191, 1192 or 1206 AD? Okay, what could be the answer? Battle of Tharain between Prithvira Chauhan versus Mohammad Ghori, yes. What is the right answer? 1191 is the right answer. The first one was held in 1191 where Mohammad Ghori was defeated and second one Ghori was successful in 1192. Okay. Moving on to next question of the day. Gandhiji has studied law in which of these places? Is it India, United Kingdom, South Africa or Bhutan? Gandhiji has studied law in which of the following places? Yes, the right answer is option number two, United Kingdom in UK, he has studied law. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. Whom did Akbar defeat in the second battle of Panipat in 1556? Is it Genghis Khan, Nadir Shah or Hemu Vikramaditya or Baji Rao?
what is the right answer yes most of you go with option number three three is the right answer hemu the hindu ruler he has fought this second battle of panipat against akbar the first was between babar versus ibrahim lodi right in 1526 where the delhi sultanate will end and mughal empire will start and second between akbar versus hemu okay actually it was bairam khan the general of akbar he has fought for akbar versus hemu okay moving on to next question of the day the total number of high courts in india is is it 21 15 18 or 24 how many high courts are there in india as of now what is the right answer just total number of high courts 24 is the right answer we don't have how many states are there 29 states and 7 UDs those many high courts are not there for India we have only 24 high courts in India the artificial heart was invented by is it Mohammed Yunus, Linus Yele or Ghazi Yasargil or Paul Winchell artificial heart was invented by yes the right answer is Paul Winchell he has invented the artificial heart Chilika Lake is in the state of is it Karnataka Odisha Andhra Pradesh or West Bengal Chilika Lake the famous brackish water lake in India what is the right answer Odisha is the right answer Jesni Balu has given the right answer Yes, Odisha is the right answer. Chilika Lake, it is a Ramsar site in India. Next, Ram Charit Manas is an epic poem written in which of the following languages? Is it Santali, Munda or Avadi or Sanskrit? Who has written Ram Charit Manas? Was written by Tulsi Das, right? What is the right answer? yes the right answer is avadi language he has written in avadi language who has developed hack programming language is it google apple facebook or microsoft hack programming language if you are following current affairs it will be very easy what is the right answer facebook is the right answer facebook has developed this hack programming language okay moving on to next question of the day vacuum tubes were used by which generation of computers is it first second third or fourth what could be the answer the right answer is first generation of computers the vacuum tubes were used earlier okay to store the data okay moving on to next question of the day article 44 guarantees is it free education or living wage for workers or uniform civil code for citizens or separation of judiciary from executive this is from direct principles of state policy from articles 36 to 51 the part 4 of indian constitution Yes, most of you say option number three, some say it's option number one, some say two. But what is the right answer? Uniform civil code is the right answer. Article 45 deals with free education. 43 deals with living age for workers and separation of judiciary from executive. Article number 50. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. An increase in price will increase consumer surplus decrease consumer surplus have no effect on consumer surplus or decrease producer surplus yes what is the right answer it will decrease the consumer surplus right moving on to next question of the day world wide web ww was invented by is it john barber or tim berners lee or alan bumler or david brewster 
What is the right answer? World Wide Web was invented by Tim Berners-Lee is the right answer. He has invented the World Wide Web. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. Who wrote the book The God of Small Things? Is it Arundhati Roy, Anita Desai, Amartya Sen, Arun Shauri? So what is the right answer? The right answer is Arundhati Roy. She has written this book The God of Small Things and also the Ministry of Utmost Happiness. Okay, remember these authors are very important. Moving on to next question of the day. Which of the following is a greenhouse gas or a gas which can deplete the ozone layer? Is it boron trifluoride, oxygen or chlorodifluoromethane or chlorine? What is the right answer which can deplete the ozone layer? Yes, the right answer is chlorodifluoromethane. It is also called as R22. Okay, so it depletes the ozone layer. The eco friendly refrigerants are R143A and R134A. These are eco friendly refrigerants which does not release chlorofluorocarbons which will damage the ozone layer. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. What does the slope of velocity time graph represent? Is it acceleration, distance, speed or momentum? You have seen my physics lectures on talent sprint. You can easily answer. This is a very school, uh, school question. What is the right answer? Velocity time graph. When I plot velocity versus time, what does it give me? It gives acceleration right the right answer is acceleration moving on to next question of the day the panchayat raj was first adopted by which of the following states haryana rajasthan madhya pradesh or karnataka yes what could be the right answer The right answer is Rajasthan. It has adopted in 1959. This is the first state. And second was Andhra Pradesh, the United Andhra Pradesh. Who, which committee has recommended Panchayat Raj system? It is Balwant Rai Mehta committee, which has recommended Panchayat Raj system, democratic decentralization. Please give away some of the central government and state government powers to the local people so that they will serve as the units of local self-government it was recommended in 1957 moving on to next question of the day what is the unit of the physical quantity jerk is it meter second meter per second cube meter per second square or meter per second jerk So what is the right answer? Jerk. So jerk is nothing but it is a derivative of acceleration per time. Okay. So what is acceleration unit? Meter per second and unit is meter per second square, right? So totally meter per second cube is the answer this is the answer for jerk moving on to next question of the day which of the following is not considered as a democracy is it usa norway india china what is the right answer china is not a democracy because there is only one party which is contesting in elections for a democracy minimum of two parties should contest because there must be choice for the people to choose at least okay that's why china is not a democracy india is a oldest largest democracy uk is oldest democracy moving on to next question of the day the language in which buddha has preached is it hindi urdu pali or hebrew what is the right answer language in buddha which Buddha has used? Yes, the right answer is Pali. Pali is the right answer. Jainism has used Prakrit 
Buddhism has used Pali. Okay. These are the local dialects. Okay, moving on to the next question of the day. In 2017, the nominal rate of interest was 6% and the inflation rate is 1.5%. So, real rate of interest in 2016 was, you have to calculate and tell me what is the answer. Nominal rate is given, interest rate is given, real rate of interest must be calculated. Who is going to give this answer first? Neetu Sharma says 4.5. Panashri, Neetu Sharma, Sheikh, Santosh. Just the right answer is 4.5. How we got is nominal rate of interest is equals to inflation rate plus real interest rate. So this is given 6%, this is given 1.5%, so we need to calculate this one. So 6 minus 1.5 will be 4.5. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. The goods which people consume more when the price rises are called as, is it essential goods, capital goods, Weblen goods or Giffen goods? The goods which people consume more, we have successfully completed 100 questions. Now we are dealing with 101, 49 more. Be active in answering the questions. What is the right answer? Giffen good. Yes. Giffen good is the right answer. When prices rise, the demand also rises for these products. These are called generally inferior goods also. But generally we call them as luxurious goods. Okay. So for luxurious goods as demand increases, as price increases, demand will also increase. Pulitzer Prize is given in the field of, is it journalism, sports, medicine or music? Pulitzer Prize. Yes, the right answer is journalism. Pulitzer Prize is given for journalism. Man Booker Prize is given for literature. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. Carotene in fruits and vegetables gives it which color? Is it green, pink, orange or blue? If you can remember carrot. So what is the right answer? Yes, the right answer is orange. So because of carotene in carrot, that's why it is orange in color. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. LPG is a mixture of, is it methane and butane, butane, propane, methane, propane or ethane, propane? What could be the right answer? LPG is a mixture of, yes, the right answer is butane and propane. But how much, what is the formula for butane? C4H10 and propane is C3H8, right? C and H2 and plus 2. Okay, World Wetlands Day is observed on, is it 1st February, 2nd, 3rd, 5th? Yes, it is observed on 2nd February, right? The Ramsar Convention in 1971. Ramsar is a place in Iran where World Wetlands Day is celebrated. Okay, 2nd February, the, what is the theme of 2018? Wetlands for a sustainable urban future is the theme for 2018. Next, Equus caballus is a scientific name of, is it horse, zebra, donkey or buffalo? World's Wetlands Day, we need to conserve wetlands. We have 26 Ramsar sites like Chilika Lake, Kilo, Kioladio National Park like that. Wetlands are very important for environment. What is the right answer? Yes, horse is the right answer. Equus caballus is a scientific name of the horse. Next, Maha Mastakabhisheka Mahotsav recently held is related to, is it Buddhism, Sikhism, Hinduism or Jainism? Be fast in answering the questions. What is the right answer? Maha Mastaka Abhisheka. 
द राइट आंसर इज जैनिज्म होप यू नो अबाउट बाहुबली यस ही इज द फेमस गोमतेश्वरा ही इज अ रियल बाहुबली नॉट प्रभास ओके ही इज अ सन ऑफ द फर्स्ट जैन तीर्थंकरा दट इज ऋषभ देव और ऋषभ नाथ ओके हिज फेमस स्टैचू स्टैंड एट श्रावण बेलगोला इन कर्नाटक द फिफ्टी सेवन फीट टॉल मोनोलिथिक स्टैचू ओके द अभिषेक इज डन फॉर द स्टैचू रीसेंटली अवर हॉनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर हेज विजिटेड दिस ओके मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ डे फियर ऑफ फेल्यूर इज टर्म डैज इट अटेलोफोबिया एचियोफोबिया बिबिलियोफोबिया और फायरोफोबिया What is the right answer? Fear of failure is termed as yes. The right answer is achiophobia is the right answer. Fear of failure is called achiophobia. Atlophobia is fear of imperfection. Okay, bibliophobia as it says books. and pyrophobia is for fire okay if you remember pyrolysis bibliography is for books like that okay moving on to next question of the day the lookist policy in india was started by which of the following prime ministers is it rajiv gandhi adal bihar vajpay pv narsimha rao or manmohan singh so what is the right answer lookist policy by pb narsimha rao he has advocated the lookist policy of india okay who has created history by winning bronze medal recently at gymnastic world cup for india is it aruna gone sohini roy meghna reddy or aruna reddy what is the right answer yes the right answer is Aruna Buddha Reddish she has won the recently bronze at gymnastic world cup going on to next question of the day which buddhist council was held soon after the death of gautam buddha is it fourth third second or first what is the right answer first or sir second or third or fourth Yes the right answer is first first buddhist council was held under ajata shatru right at rajgir of bihar after the death of buddha moving on to next question of the day the ibadat khana was a meeting house built by which mughal emperor is it babar humayun akbar or aurangzeb Okay, it is actually a meeting place for religious scholars, built by a person who is he. Note down your score. Don't forget. We'll me will uh, deal with the score at the last. So, what's the right answer? Akbar is the right answer. Akbar used to hold religious meetings at Ibadat Khana in Fatehpur Sikri in Agra of Uttar Pradesh. Moving on to next question, which of the following continents has the smallest land area? Is it Antarctica, Europe? North America or South America What is the right answer smallest land area which continent you can see say easily yes the right answer is Europe Europe has the smallest land area The Bibika Maqbara is a tomb located in which of the following places it was built by Azam Shah the son of Aurangzeb Okay is it in Hyderabad Aurangabad or Lucknow or Allahabad Azam Shah has built right answer yes Aurangabad in Maharashtra is the right answer Bibika Maqbara built by Azam Shah the son of Aurangzeb moving on to next question of the day actress sri devi has received padma shri in which of the following years is it 16 17 13 or 15 
So what is the right answer? 2013 is the right answer. She has received Padma Shri in 2013. Bengali is the official language of Uttarakhand, Tripura, Kerala or Chhattisgarh. Be fast in answering the questions. Who, in go who is going to answer this question first? Yes, the right answer is Tripura has also has the official language Bengali. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. Who built the famous Jodhpur fort? Is it Guru Ramdas, Shah Jahan, Rao Jodhaji or Mahatma Gandhi? What is the right answer? Jodhpur fort in Rajasthan. Rao Jodhaji has built this famous fort in Rajasthan. Moving on to the next question of the day. My life is an autobiography of is it Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, Ivanka Trump or Margaret Thatcher? What is the right answer? Be fast. My life is an autobiography of Bill Clinton, the former president of US. Which is the second highest civilian award given in India? Is it Bharat Ratna, Padma Vibhushan, Padma Bhushan or Padma Shri? What is the right answer? First, sorry, second highest civilian award given in India. Yes, the right answer is Padma Vibhushan. The first is Bharat Ratna. Second is Padma Vibhushan. Third is Padma Bhushan. And fourth is Padma Sri. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. Speaker of the Lok Sabha serves for a maximum term of is it three years, four years, five years, or seven years? So what is the right answer? Speaker of the Lok Sabha. What is the term of Lok Sabha? Lok Sabha's term is 5 years. Raj Sabha term is 6 years. So for Lok Sabha it is 5 years. Okay. Insects that transmit diseases are known as pathogens, vectors, drones or scalars. Be fast in answering the questions. What could be the answer? Yes, the answer is vectors. Insects that transmit diseases are known as vectors. The chemical formula of aluminium chloride is, is it AlCl or AlCl twice or AlCl3 or Al2Cl3? Yes, the right answer is AlCl3 is the formula for aluminium chloride. Okay. Who has discovered benzene? Is it Hal Anger, Michael Faraday or Bruce Ems or Nicholas Appert? Yes, the right answer is Michael Faraday has discovered benzene. Moving on to next question of the day. Who has built the famous gateway of India? Is it Guru Ramdas, Maharana Pratap Singh or Rabindranath, Rabindranath Tagore or British government? Gateway of India in Mumbai. What is the right answer? The right answer is British government has built. You can see the words on the India, sorry, gateway of India in Mumbai. Okay. Next question. Bangra is a folk dance of is it Arunachal Pradesh, Punjab, Assam or Nagaland? Bangra. The famous Bangra dance is for Punjab. Punjab is the right answer. Moving on to next question of the day. Name the international treaty designed to protect the ozone layer from chlorofluorocarbons. Is it Sigma protocol or Montreal protocol or ozone protocol or green protocol? So 
So what is the right answer? Montreal protocol. Montreal is a place in Canada. Okay. So this protocol was signed for Vienna Convention and the protocol is called as Montreal protocol. And Montreal is a place in Canada for ozone layer protection. Okay. Next. Dash is a time taken by the Earth to return to a given point in its orbit with reference to a fixed star. Is it lunar year or sidereal year or solar year or tropical year? What is the right answer? The right answer is sidereal year is the time taken by the earth to return to a given point. Okay, with reference to a fixed star. Okay, who were the first among the following to establish trade relations with India? Is it Dutch, French, English or Portuguese? What is the right answer? Hope you can say it easily. The right answer is Portuguese. Okay, Vasco da Gama has come to India in 1498. English have come in 1599. Okay, around 1600s. Dutch have come in 1602. French have come in 1664. They have established their first factory in 1664. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. First Indian to score an RDI century is is it Sachin Tendulkar, Ajit Vadekar, Lala Amarnath, or Kapil Dev? First Indian to score an one day international century is what is the right answer? Kapil Dev is the right answer. Double century is Sachin Tendulkar and triple century is Virendra Sehwag, right? Moving on to next question of the day. Kargil war against Pakistan was started in the year of. Is it 1961, 65, 72 or 1999? Yes, the right answer is 1999 is the right answer. Okay, though Pakistan has attacked India in 1960-71, but Kargil war was fought in 1999. Okay, who invented FM radio? Is it Edwin Howard Armstrong or John Barber or Edwin Bird Budding or Nicholas Callan? FM radio, frequency modulation radio. What is the right answer? Yes, the right answer is Nicholas Callan. He has invented the famous FM radio. Next, plastic, plastic bottles are made of polymer called PET. What does PET stands for? Polyethylene terephthalate, polyethylene terylene, or polyethylene triophosphate, or polyethyl ter tetrachloride. So, what is the right answer? Yes, the right answer is polyethylene terephthalate. This stands for PET. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. What is the value of acceleration due to gravity G at the center of the earth? Is it 1, 0, 1 or infinity? Actually, it should be minus 1. Take the first option as minus 1. So, what is the right answer? Acceleration due to gravity Yes, 0 is the right answer. At the center of the earth, 0, it will decrease with the heights. Okay, clear with this. Moving on to next question of the day. Dash gets converted into phosgene when exposed to light. Is it chloroform, acetone, benzene or polypropylene? What is the right answer? Chloroform, trichloromethane. Okay, this is also called as trichloro methane. It is converted to phosgene. Okay, who was the first viceroy of pre-independence era? Is it Warren Hastings, Lord William Bentick, Mountbatten, or Canning? First viceroy in 1858. He was also the last Governor General of India. 
before the first viceroy last governor general of india was renamed to viceroy of india he was also the famous person during the revolt of 1857 who is he lord canning is the right answer the national anthem was adopted by the constituent assembly on which of the following dates So what is the right answer? The national anthem before 26 January 1950. That is on 24 January 1950. Both national anthem and song were adopted. Okay. Moving on to next question of the day. Who invented email? Is it Tim Berners-Lee or James Kosling or Winton Cerf or V. A. Shiva Ayadurai? Be fast in answering the question. What is the right answer? V. A. Shiva Ayadurai has invented email, electronic mail. Which of the following is also used as a biofertilizer? Is it urea, ammonia, uric acid, or nitrates? Yes, the right answer is ammonia. It is used as a biofertilizer. Okay, next. The longest day of the year in the northern hemisphere occurs on 20th May, 21st June, 20th July, or 21st August. That's why we celebrate our International Yoga Day on this day. When is it? 21st June is the right answer. It is for summer solstice. Occurs. The day will be longer than night on this day okay winter solstice occurs on 22nd december that is winter solstice on this day night will be longer than day okay so that's why we celebrate our international yoga day on 21st june manas wildlife sanctuary is in is it in tamil nadu assam bihar or himachal pradesh the famous manas wildlife sanctuary manas national park manas tiger reserve Manas Biosphere Reserve. Where is it? Is it in Assam? Is the right answer. Moving on to next question of the day. Which Indian cricketer has not received the Arjuna Award yet? Is it Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma, MS Dhoni, or Ravichandar Ashwin? World Wide Web was invented by Tim Berners Lee. And in email was invented by V. S. Shiva Yadurai. Okay, please clarify. Okay, moving on to next question. What is the answer for this question? Yes, M. S. Dhoni has not received Arjuna Award yet. Okay, that is the right answer. Which drug is used as thyroid hormone? Is it metformin, ketoconazolol, or promethazine or levothyroxine? Used as a thyroid hormone as the name says levothyroxine is the right answer okay a series of instructions written by a programmer according to a given set of rules or conventions is called as is it syntax a byte a set or macro what is the right answer Syntax is the right answer. Nilab says syntax. Balamurgan, Jitendra, Vijaya, Shravani, Harsha, Gargi, Mandal, Chantosh, Suraj. So most of you say syntax. Syntax is the right answer. Satriya is a classical dance of. Is it Mizoram, Andhra Pradesh, Assam or Maharashtra? Satriya is one of the eight classical dances in India. We have six classical languages and eight classical dances. Okay, what is the right answer? Assam is the right answer. Okay. Moving on to next question of the day. NaHCO3 is a chemical formula for borax, vinegar, lime or baking soda. Yes, the right answer is baking soda is the right answer. NaHCO3 is used as a chemical formula. 
Annamalai Tiger Reserve is in which state? Is it in Telangana, Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu or Kerala? So what is the right answer? The right answer is Tamil Nadu is the right answer. Why I am giving all these means? Exactly this question will not come but you need to be thorough with the tiger reserves, scientific names. Okay. Which is the most economical method of removing solid matter from water? Is it using deactivated carbon or electrolysis, distillation or sedimentation? Be active in giving the answers. Be fast. Yes, what's the answer? Sedimentation is the correct answer. The best example is suppose if you want to clean the rice, right? We pour water into it and that is called as sedimentation. Okay, that is the most economical method. The Westminster parliamentary system was developed in Spain, Australia, UK or USA. The right answer is Westminster UK parliamentary system. Okay. In which year RBA was nationalized? Is it 1939, 49, 59, 69? One more question to go. What is the right answer on in 1949, 1st January 1949? It was nationalized. When was it established? Established on 1st April 1935 established. Nationalized means government has taken over on 1st January 1949. Okay. Moving on to the last question of the day. Instrument for measuring blueness of the sky or ocean is called as. Is it bathometer or serenograph or cyanometer or barometer? So what is the right answer? Sinometer is the right answer for guessing the blueness so that we can say how much water vapor is present in the atmosphere. So successfully we have completed the 150 most predictable questions for SSC CHSL as well as RRB examinations. So please let me know your score. How much did you score? So my intention is you to make you thorough with these topics not that these questions will exactly come in the exam. So be thorough with these topics. All the best from my side for SSC CGL, CHSL as well as RRB aspirants. Please let me know your score. Renuka says 125 very good score. Most of the questions are previous examination papers of CHSL. Okay, my intention is you to make you thorough with these topics. 127 Ashes, Sheikh, Ven Gopal, 100, Jitender, 139. So anything above 100 is very good score. Please post your score. Neetu Sharma, 120. Anil, 149. Nikhil, 111. So all the best from my side. Prepare. Be prepared well any books means uh, books nothing but like uh, we have uh, Kiran's publication we have the previous year's question papers or Arihant or Lucent is very good for CHSL or RRB examinations so if you practice previous year's question papers it is very useful for SSC CHSL and RRB okay not for CGL okay so prepare well and all the best from my side. Take very good care of yourselves. Thank you so much. And thank you for subscribing to Talent Sprint.